awesome. Every athlete has awesome. that has that injury that really makes them think, is this what I really want to do? And there's a lot of guys that get that and they're like, no, I don't want it. And there's a lot of guys that take that hit and get back up and keep going. There's people that say they want to do it, but when it comes down to it, there's a lot of people that want to do it for the, the lights and the glam and the glory of it. But if you're not willing to do it for the right purpose, which is you know helping your buddy out ultimately, you're, you're not going to be any good at the sport. My name is Clay Hager. I've been fighting bulls professionally for 10 years now and got about probably 16, 17 years of experience into it. My name is Reese Mitchell and I've been fighting bulls professionally for five years and I've been doing it for nine. Well, it started real little. My dad used to be a bullfighter and then moved on to being a clown and we grew up in clown acts. I was probably three years old when I was in my first clown act. A week out of the hospital at my first rodeo, so it was just kind of ingrained in us and grew up in a rodeo family. My brother started fighting bulls when he was about 14 at junior rodeos and I started tagging along and sneaking away under mom's nose. Next thing you know, I took it a little uh, further than he did. It was kind of something when I was a little kid, it's what I always wanted to do and kind of grew up around rodeo and uh, I tried to ride for a little bit. It wasn't my thing and I uh, went to a practice pen and just kind of stepped around some bulls and I just felt like that's where God wanted me to be. and. Uh, he kind of opened some doors and just kept opening for him. So I, he, he's blessed me. It's, he's the reason I do it. I just feel like that's my calling. Well, closer the better, really. Uh, you don't want to give too much distance because you're the you're the first line of defense, and uh, you want to step in there and really get that bull's attention and get close to him, get in his eye. People might think it's like it's crazy, but I'm already on my feet, so I have an advantage. And then being two-legged rather than four. I can go in a circle faster than a bull can, so all I have to do is control my circle. And the tighter I can keep to him past his shoulder and keep that circle smaller, the more advantage I have in winning. It's kind of like a cowboy mantra, which, you know, cowboys are always tough, and if we don't, we don't rodeo, we don't get paid. You know, you don't get paid to sit on the couch, so if you can get on, you're gonna get on. And this year, it was kind of, I don't know, it was different. There's a lot of guys just took some, some hard hits, and. It, it happens every year because the bulls get better, horses get better and buck harder, so it's going to be harder spills and harder wrecks and, you know, like I said, you don't get paid if you don't go. You know, you get knocked down, you get back up, and no matter if you're hurt or not, you just kind of, you just got to get through it. I've, I've went, there was one year I messed both my knees up and I just kept going. It hurt like heck, but there's nothing else you can do. You got to make, make money and pay your bills. <laughs>